it started in the heart of one particular uh, woman, uh, Debbie Cruz, and she had a vision of what it would mean to uh, gather uh, the 460th together at least once monthly and to um, uh, congregate, to fellowship, to get to know each other. Everybody comes together, sits shoulder to shoulder, no formality, and enjoys a good meal, fellowship, and a devotional thought. So we started out um, with crock pots and roasting ovens and uh, we didn't have a kitchen at all. Then there were crock pots for miles and circuit breakers started blowing and, um, you know, and now we have an industrial kitchen and so a lot more people can come, but you still see the same faces that you saw in 2001. You know, there's a passage in, uh, in the New Testament of the Christian scriptures from the book of Acts in the second chapter where um, we are encouraged to abide by the apostles' teaching. Well, if you think about uh, learning, well, we learn something from the devotional. Uh, and then it also talks about uh, the disciples or, or people of the same mind gathering around a table and breaking bread and fellowshipping together something spiritual happens where we become closer to one another. Something that is hard to describe that makes this so successful. Well, I just think it is a beautiful project that we've been able to do. If I was looking at setting it up today, I think it would be a daunting thought to start on a base of this size with this many people. But because we started so small, it was easy to start. And then it just grew along with the base and the people here. A number of the people that were here when we started 15 years ago are still coming to the luncheon and talking about when we did it way back when in the module buildings with no kitchen and really no support. But it has grown and we hate to think about ever limiting that, that only certain squadrons or certain people could come each day. It's always open to everyone.